Hey everybody, I'm Jocelyn White with John Zazelka and we're at home here in the hills of Kingswood where the weather is kind of being Octoberish a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Yes, Jocelyn, and we're so looking forward to the rest of October because our trees are starting to turn and we're surrounded by natural forest and some beautiful terrain that is going to be spectacular at about end of this month towards November, the middle of November. So we're tickled pink to be here today. We're standing in the Ron Davis home, the Ron Davis Custom Home that's on Lilac Lane. Well, Ron Davis has been preparing this lovely home for a long time. He's taken the care that a custom builder should take. And Ron Davis Custom Homes is superb. And this home is just about finished. So we're going to have a big show here for the next whoo, four to five weeks and looking forward to it. And I want you to hear from Ron himself. Well, thank you guys. It's great to be here. Our show home is coming together. It's been a long journey getting through everything, but it's exciting and it's well worth it. The home has turned out beautifully. And now we're just down to our final punch and our final little fine tuning. We're walking around, change this, tweak that, touch this up and make it just right. We also have our grand opening coming up on October 15th at our show home. We're excited about it. It'll be in the Dallas Morning News. It can't wait. And the Ron Davis Custom Show Home will be available for the public consumption sometime in November, December, and we look forward to that. Speaking of looking forward to things, today John wraps up the series that he's been doing on what actually is happening here at the Hills of Kingswood and how it came about. Today, though, he's talking Frisco as well as the Hills of Kingswood, and we catch up with John as he visited with former mayor, Mayor Masso. Frisco right now is the fastest growing city in North America. So uh, we've got billions of dollars, literally, probably somewhere between 11 and 15 billion right now uh, being created between the, the Dallas Cowboys headquarters and all of that corridor around Warren and uh, Lebanon and the Parkway and North. And of course, City Hall is just north of us at, uh, and that's been booming. Well, you know, Frisco is still one of the fast growing cities in the U.S. We're over 150,000 in population, uh, but we'll, all, our build out is estimated to be about 375,000. So, still have a long ways to go. We know the direction we're going in. It's a very master plan community. Wonderful jobs and public safety. Uh, people will not move in the area that's not safe. Frisco is a very safe community. And the Hills of Kingswood fits right in with that. It is the last approved master planned gated community within the Frisco city limits. We have the only piece of land that is a gated community. We're about to go to 24 hour security, uh, which our people appreciate. And uh, so we're, we're thrilled to provide something that nobody else has. This is a very different kind of master planned community. We really feel like we want to create uh, a atmosphere of open space. So we have uh, trails and we'll end up having close to four miles of trails uh, that run along uh, our own park. Uh, if you feel like uh, you want to walk the backwoods, uh, we have backwoods. If you feel like you want to walk a manicured trail, we have a manicured trail. There is no need for a community center or big pool facility with the privacy and space and personal backyards and everything imaginable outside the hill's gates. And we're surrounded by these wonderful facilities. So why would we as a development spend your money as a homeowner to create facilities you have within five minutes of home that are world class? They're not, they're not the kind of facilities that, that anybody else has. So we're encouraging people to really do their own thing. Frisco wouldn't be here without a handful of very influential folks like former mayor and Frisco icon, Bob Warren. Bargaining and, uh, and partnership has been much of Frisco's success. Mm -hmm. We found that uh, things that we can't do as a, as a city, but can be done as a, a, with a partnership. Mm -hmm. The pivotal point of growth here really came to a head with the developers who were building in and bringing Stonebriar Mall and then the transportation solution that became known as the Dallas North Tollway. We bargained with the uh, Toll Road Authority to get the, uh, the access road first from 121 to 380. Later, we bargained with them again. It was a city, 
and the county and, uh, and the toll road authority that got the toll road extended piece by piece. Bob has had a parkway named after him, a sporting complex, a city park, even a clock, but his personal favorite. And one of the greatest things is a hamburger at Scotty P's. At, uh, <laughs> and what number is that? Number seven on the menu, uh, Warren Burger. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> he is a piece of work. <laughs> yes, he is, Jocelyn. And you know you made it here in Frisco. You get a burger named after you. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry Jones, that's when you've made it, too. Yes. <laughs> Listen, we're really excited about next month. So thanks for joining us today. And we hope you will again when the show home opens. And we'll see you then. I'm Jocelyn White with John Zazelka. We're at home here in the hills of Kingswood. And we hope you will be, too. Sharon Webb is our go-to gal in the hills of Kingswood, so stop by, get a personal tour of our community, and let Sharon introduce you to the spectacular home sites we have available. You too can be at home in the hills of Kingswood. Give her a call to set up your appointment.